The purpose of this video is to help you maintain compliance with district rules and regulations. Specifically, we'll be discussing how to comply with VOC standards and district coding rules. As you can see from this list, there are several different coding rules that may apply to your operation. You should check the applicability section of each rule if you are unsure which rule applies to your business. Our website address is www.sdapcd.org. If you look under the I want to tab at the top of the page, then view rules and regulations. All of our rules and regulations will be listed on the screen lowest to highest, starting with Rule 1 and going to Rule 1501. Since we are looking for rules numbered 66 and 67, you will have to scroll down the page to get to the coding rules. Here you can see all the different coding rules. By clicking the link, the rule will open and you will be able to save it if you like. Once you are sure you have the applicable rule to your operation, you will want to look at Section D, which lists VOC standards. If your coding has a VOC content that is less than or equal to the VOC standard in the applicable rule, then your coding is compliant. To determine if the coding in your operation is compliant with applicable VOC standards, you must first collect the following information. For single component coatings, you will need to find the VOC regulatory, sometimes labeled VOC content less water and exempt compounds, or VOC as applied, or VOC EPA method 24. For a multiple component coating, you will need the VOC of mixture, typically found on the overall coating's product data sheet, or PDS. If this value is not found in a manufacturer supplied document, you can calculate it using the VOC information from each component. For help with calculating the VOC of mixture, review how to calculate the VOC content of a mixed coating posted on the district website. As an example, let's imagine two metal parts coatings, an air-dried heat-resistant coating, and a baked solar-absorbent coating. The air-dried heat-resistant coating has multiple components and must be mixed. The coating's product data sheet states the VOC of the mixture is 3.45 pounds per gallon. The VOC content standard from the rule for air-dried heat-resistant coatings is 420 grams per liter. The baked solar-absorbent coating has only one component. The coating's MSDS states the VOC regulatory of the coating is 4 pounds per gallon. The VOC content standard from the rule 67.3 for baked solar-absorbent coatings is 360 grams per liter. You will notice that the units that VOC information is given in is in terms of a weight per volume, such as pounds per gallon or grams per liter. In order to determine if these coatings are compliant, the units of the VOC content values must match the units of the VOC standard values. We will convert the VOC content values from pounds per gallon to grams per liter using the following conversion factor. 1 pound per gallon equals 119.8 grams per liter. After converting the VOC content from pounds per gallon to grams per liter, we can check for compliance. Because the VOC content of the heat-resistant coating is less than the VOC standard, the heat-resistant coating is compliant. Because the VOC content of the solar-absorbent coating is more than the VOC standard, the solar-absorbent coating is non-compliant and cannot be used in the operation. It is important to check that each coating your operation will use is compliant before you submit a permit application or you add or change a coating in your inventory. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this video or any other video on our website, please give our business assistance line a call at 858-586-2656.